Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. I'm Michael Ives, and I'm joined today by a very special guest for our first Puck Talk episode of the season, the Fairbanks Ice Dogs general manager and the reigning NAHL executive of the year, <laughs> Rob Profit. Welcome, Rob. Thanks for having me. Hey, fantastic. Well, hockey obviously is right around the corner. We've got Ice Dogs home opener kicking off this weekend. I guess the first thing I need to ask you is with the new season here, this home opener game, there's some special things going on this weekend for Ice Dogs Hockey. Tell me why folks don't want to miss Friday night. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's the unveiling of our banners that uh, the club won last year, obviously with the Robertson Cup Championship. So there's five banners that we're going to unveil as well as having the cup out. Um, when you end at the end of May, everyone's ready to kick her in the summer up here, you know. So this will be a chance for a lot of the fans that maybe weren't around and, and followers to be able to get their picture with the cup, etc. So that always creates some energy, excitement, etc and just leads into a great opening week and we played seven on the road the guys are ready to get back and intro on our new robo cup jerseys that uh, will celebrate not only the 16 championship but the previous two years as well and 11 and 14 and a lot of neat things on the docket get ready to have a bunch of fun at a great event at the dip well maybe my biggest wow moment for this last year came after that <laughs> robbie cup run during the nhl draft seeing todd burgess's name called and seeing that ice dogs logo pop up in the nhl did that hit you like it hit me, and, and what did that moment mean to you? Yeah, still I have chills right now when you say it. I, I was fortunate enough to be in Buffalo to, to see that happen and, and live and center. And, um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of those like, wild moments, a great way to explain it. It was it was unbelievable. Um, so happy for Todd. It's one of those things as far as the ice dogs and us. Like We're a backseat in that. We were just a vehicle. He's the one that got there, et cetera. But to be associated with a young man like that and then to be associated that leapfrogging into the National Hockey League. If you'd have told me 20 years ago we were going to have an NHL draft pick, you know, I don't know that I could fathom that, you know. And uh, so, uh, congratulations to Todd, obviously, and uh, we're very fortunate to have him wear our logo and and uh, and be a part of our culture forever. Fantastic stuff. That was great to see. Well, now Todd Burgess is gone. He's at RPI getting ready to be an NHL hockey player, which leaves a team full of new faces. About 80% of this team is brand new guys here in Fairbanks. Uh, I guess what I want to know from you is who, who are you most excited to watch grow this year? A player that's caught your eye. And then who do you think the Fairbanks fans are really going to like? Who's going to be a fan favorite? Those are tough. Uh, a lot of times I can answer that when you start talking about 12 and 13 and 14 guys turned over, but you know we have 17 new faces on this hockey club right now. So um, I think there's a lot of exciting kids to watch and watch through their course. Uh, you know, I think the team itself, if I can get away from the individual, I think the team itself fits the Fairbanks community like none other. Because the one thing I've seen, we struggled scoring goals a little bit in these first seven games, but at the end of the day, we got 10 out of 14 points available on the road with no preseason, et cetera. So big picture stuff, you're pretty happy. The team itself fits the culture, the community of Fairbanks, what the Big Dipper. They work hard. They play really fast. Um, I think they're going to be a great group to watch. We'll see different kids are going to kind of pop out and rise to the occasion at different nights. But I think it's going to be more by a committee thing um, as they all grow. Um, through the process. Ryan Carroll, I think up front has been really good um, from the standpoint of just some leadership and he does things the right way as a person away from the rink, on the rink, etc. So I think he's been good. He's great to watch be a veteran. I think Cahill's got to be con counted on to contribute and put pucks in the net um, on, a, on a steady steady basis, if you will. And obviously CJ in the net is, uh, is something that uh, he's got to do his job, but I think everyone's going to have uh, their piece in this puzzle. Rob, this team started the year with a bang. Four wins right out of the gate. They got down there to that NAHL showcase, and towards the end of that showcase, the offense slowed down a little bit, maybe some struggles to end that week. Um, what, what kind of team are we watching this year, and, and where is this squad going to be strong as they grow? Yeah, I think uh, I think we were pretty fortunate early. The goals that we produce, and in, in you know, but they were tight games with Topeka, except the seven-one whatever blowout. I think we're going to have some challenges. We're going to have to manufacture goals. I think this whole week of practice, um, you watch Coach Stewart and Coach Durr. They, they were, how do we create offensively? Like I thought, we still, I thought we outpossessed teams every night. We outshot teams every night. Now, how do you turn that into? you know, the, the scoreboard changing, right? So I think uh, as far as the fall off at the end of the trip, I think there was a little fall off and I think that's a little bit about inexperience. I mean, we found ourselves on a short on the stick, but I seen some things that were great with the team. The, the night we were down two nothing to Austin, I believe late and found a way to battle back and then score a, a goalie pull goal late to come back. We ended up losing in 
uh, that was in a shootout, I guess, that, that night. And, and uh, But, I mean, I see some really good character points here that, that you build off. And it's still September, you know. I mean, uh, the NHL hasn't even started yet, you know. So I, I think there's good pieces. I think people are going to enjoy the team, how hard we play. I think we play pretty physical. Uh, we get to the net and we play fast. And, and I think, the, you know, their leader, they're, I, I'm fortunate enough, and I'm not shy to say that I think I have the best coach in junior hockey. And uh, I think I, I envy his job to come to the rink every day and work with this crew of kids, and they're only going to get better, and he's going to be the one to lead them that way. Ladies and gentlemen, Fairbanks Ice Dogs general manager, Rob Prophet. Rob, as always, thanks for the time. Love talking hockey with you. Thanks for having me. We'll see everybody this weekend. That's right. Friday, 730 at the Big Dipper, the Ice Dogs home opener championship banner hanging in the Dipper. And then they'll be back at it Saturday at 730 as well. Stay tuned. Amanda Brennan's up next with all you need to know about the weather. Have a great night, everyone.